And we are back in the studio now with Dr. Tabitha Nafsi. She is heading up the Rockford Pulmonary Clinic. Welcome, good morning. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. So you are a doctor and you sort of have gone away and created your own clinic. How did that come about? So it came about basically, um, I would say that patients started reaching out to me um, at some level and then I was figuring out how I can contribute to the city of Rockford where I live in, which is home for me, mm -hmm. and then still continue to practice medicine like I would like to do it. So as I was going about just trying to figure out ideas, um, the clinic you know, made the most sense. There is a huge void in Rockford right now with at least a six month waiting list to see a lung specialist. Mm -hmm. So that's how the whole process started. But as I started digging more and more, I realized I could do a more personalized, direct access, community-based clinic with less intimidation, um, shorter wait times, direct upfront pricing, and cater to everybody with or without insurance in the area. So why is why is there, a, I guess, such a long wait time? Is there a shortage of specialists in there Rockford? There is a shortage of pulmonary doctors in Rockford, yes. And across the nation in general, but in mm. Rockford too. Interesting. So you deal primarily with pulmonary care, correct? Yes. And so what does that all encompass? It encompasses everything from uh, something as simple as chronic cough, asthma, COPD, any kind of lung damage from smoking, lung cancer, interstitial lung diseases, pulmonary hypertension, sleep apnea, and the list goes on from that. Yeah. So is this the type of clinic where you're going to diagnose someone and then refer them to a different sort of office? Or are you guys doing all of this work in-house? So, so there's no guys. It's just me. For <laughs> <laughs> <Or> you. <laughs> it's just me. But yes, uh, basically, I do it all. So okay. um, I will be doing the initial consultation, the upfront testing. If a patient chooses to have a certain test done in a certain hospital, whether any of the three hospitals in the area, I can go there and you know uh, provide additional testing over there. So provide a full comprehensive uh, pulmonary service uh, without having them to go to a bigger center outside of town. So you are still, you still can use the resources of some of the the big three in Rockford? So I am credentialed in the in the areas in the hospital, so basically in the hospitals in the area, so basically yes, I can uh, provide services like bronchoscopy over there. But for the most part, my clinic can take care of all the basic stuff, which would be consultation, breathing test, ordering a sleep study, getting that done. So everybody does not need a testing in terms of bronchoscopy as such, but anything before that, I can do it from my office. It's like sleep tests, overnight sleep yes, tests? Yes, overnight sleep study, yes, I can. Is, I can. You're, you're just a, about, what, less than a month old now, the pulmonary? That's right, three one? weeks now, yes. Three weeks. Um, as a potential patient, <laughs> I would I might be concerned that well you're new. How do I know that I'm going to be I'm not going to be passed off somewhere? So so first of all, I'm not new to Rockford. I have actually worked in this area for more than eight years. So mm -hmm. I think as a as a physician, I'm not new. Yes, my clinic is definitely new. But as far as the sleep study itself is concerned, or any of the testing is concerned. All of that is something which is, you know, which just comes, that, that, is, that is my field, that is my thing, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I do. So uh, if somebody has a medical condition and I diagnose it, I take care of it. Okay. And not only do I take care of it, I provide a very personalized touch to it. So if a patient calls me, they don't get like a middleman or an answering machine and they keep on waiting and waiting and waiting. No, they get me. So my cell phone is with me and during the work hours, if a patient needs something done, even making an appointment, I'm answering the phone mm -hmm. and I'm talking to them. The big issue with a lot of care is in network, out of network. That's right. Uh, as a new clinic, uh, do you have to real align yourself with a bunch of different insurance providers, or how are you maneuvering that aspect of it? So I'm very glad you asked that. Having healthcare insurance does not mean having good health care. It's a two totally different thing. As when we have healthcare insurance, we are under the illusion that um, everything is covered. But trust me, when you are a commercial insurance uh, you know, a consumer, your deductible is huge. You are paying a lot of money out of pocket up front before even your insurance kicks in. And then when it kicks in, then you still have a 20% you know, of the amount of the uh, you know, testing that you have to pay. What I've realized when I started opening this clinic, and I was in the same dilemma, should I use insurance? Should I be out of network, in network? I was going through all of this. And as a physician, we are not taught all of this in the medical school, no, right? So no, we don't really know not. any of that. <laughs> so when I started to look into this, I realized if I am out of network, I can actually provide a much cheaper, much accessible healthcare to the patients than those with insurance. So for example, 
Um, I can give you my own example as well. I had an MRI done for myself and my I have good insurance. So okay, it's covered, everything is good. My out-of-pocket uh, deductible was $1,900 for that MRI. Do you know how much an MRI costs? Probably not. Well, no, I do not. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. So I paid nineteen hundred as a twenty percent copay on an MRI study, which actually costs seven hundred. So you can imagine how okay. weird that is. And actually, yes. in my office, I, I've seen many patients the last you know two weeks that I've opened essentially that their copays were eight hundred dollars for a CT of the chest, and I got it done for one twenty-five. Okay. How does that work? <laughs> so basically, when you don't use your insurance, you Sometimes can. Sometimes it's yeah. It's cheaper, and then also I've been able to negotiate wholesale pricing for the local imaging centers as well as laboratories. So if somebody needs a blood work done and they use their insurance, they're probably paying hundred dollars or something. I, if they come to me and I get get it ordered through Quest, I can get it done for like four bucks. So, it's so people very with insurance, cheap. without insurance, can come to you. Everybody. If I have insurance, can I say I want this done? not with my insurance how yes. does that work yeah so basically if somebody is medicare i'm obligated to see all the medicare patients and not bill them separately sure because the billing has to be through medicare it's a it's a right. federal government but anybody with a commercial payer whether they want to use their insurance or don't want to use their insurance it's their choice but i will offer them services without insurance and they will see the difference that the cost is going to be only 15 percent of what they would have paid with insurance and if somebody does not have insurance no problem at all so you've been a physician, you said, in Rockford for mm -hmm. eight years, yes. and now that you're sort of realizing all of, all of this payment stuff, is it yeah. surprising to you? It's shocking. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. It's shocking. And it's distressing to a point as well, because even as a you know, person who uses healthcare industry for my own needs, right, I've realized that um, it, it is, we, have a, we think it's very expensive and it actually can be very cheap. Mm -hmm. Very affordable healthcare can be seen if we don't have to divulge into the middlemen and the red tape of the insurance hmm. companies. Okay, well, it's, uh, it, it, Rockford Pulmonary Clinic is now open. Where are you located? So I am basically, if you were to think of the junction of Riverside and Mulford, I am right there, you know, behind Walgreens. 6078 Palo Verde Drive, suite number four. That's right. You can call that number on the screen, 566-7781 to make an appointment or look them up online, look her up online. <laughs> right now we shouldn't a, say them, and that <laughs> number is her one. number. <laughs> RockfordPulmonaryClinic.com, and it, you provide all the services. Uh, have you had an increase in... Uh, issues with the, the, the Canadian wildfire smoke uh, since you've opened up since it seems like that's been about here since you opened yeah, up. I would say a lot of people canceled because they didn't want to come out in this, you know, in the, with this weather and the red alerts that were going on. So I had cancellations, but <laughs> personally I've not seen any, you know, adverse effects from it okay. uh, in patients. Yes. That's good. Let's keep it that way. Right? I hope so. <laughs> yes. Well, you can take care of it. Whether it's asthma or COPD, you mentioned mm -hmm. as well, sleep apnea. All lung problems, including pulmonary and sleep conditions, yes. Okay. All right, great. Well, thank you. Rockford Pulmonary Clinic, now open. My eyes are open. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Palo Verde Drive, suite number four, rockfordpulmonaryclinic.com for more information about Dr. Nafsi's venture. We'll be right back. <laughs>